let's talk about let's talk about choice. So so when it comes to school choice, and I, I'm glad you brought up the point of choice. When it comes to school choice, this is what I'm the poster child for what choice looks like, because my daughter, she went to private school first. She went to charter school for all of her elementary school years. And then she went to traditional public where she's about to graduate from the number one high school in the Memphis metro area, Middle College High School. I don't live in the Middle College High School district. I made a choice. But the difference between the choice that I made and the choice that you're, I think that you're referring to in regards to the ASD is I had the resources to make a choice, to drive my daughter down the street out of my neighborhood. So when you take over a school and you, and you replace it with, uh, let's say, a charter school in an underperforming school or high poverty area, those individuals don't always have the resources that I had to actually go and make a choice. So is it really a choice when there's only one school that they can choose from? Or is it a choice if you have the resources to actually choose and drive down the street and choose from all of the schools in the area? So that's not true choice. So let's not, let's not um, put the spin on this as if taking over a public school under the ASD is giving the parents a choice, because it's not. They're still forced to go to the same school in the same neighborhood. Now it's under the ASD, which in fact actually underperformed in most cases the schools that they took over. That's not a choice. That's a force. 